Hey, welcome to the eighth annual Visla Surf Rider Foundation Upcycle event. Once again, some amazing entries from around the world. Two things that stood out this year compared to previous years is um, the number of young entries we had, which was, was really pleasing to see. You know, the youth market, you know, paying attention to turning waste into want. And um, the, the other notable standout this year was just the, the level of entries in terms of functionality, modern surfboard design, um, and the creativity and imagination used to in this year's entries was really next level. I think that the, um, as you can see from the top five finalists, every one of those boards, highly functional, modern um, shapes and designs, and at the same time using just an incredible array of materials that otherwise would have ended up in a landfill. Um, also, of course, as usual, super stoked to see such a great um, such a great response from the international surfing community. We had entries from you know numerous countries around the world, and um, just a huge thanks to everybody who submitted entries. A huge thanks to your commitment to the environment, your commitment to to sustainability, and um, yeah, appreciate uh, all the effort and the ongoing fight against pollution and and waste. Hey, this is Chad Nelson, CEO of the Surfrider Foundation. I am really excited for this year's Surfrider Visla Upcycle Contest. We've got some incredible submissions this year using all kinds of found materials, old foam, old surfboards, old wooden objects. Uh, and at the end of the day, the purpose behind this contest is really to help us rethink how we consume things in our society. Traditionally, we live in a linear economy. We extract stuff from the earth, we use it, and we throw it in a landfill. We really need to uh, create a circular economy if we want to live sustainably on this planet. That means reusing the things that we have. And the Upcycle Contest is a great example of using uh, found objects, used materials to create beautiful, functional surf riding craft. Okay, hi everyone. Well, here we are after some in, incredibly close judging uh, between the two judges here at Whistler and Surf Rider Foundation. And um, huge thanks to the public for such an incredible response to judge on um, these amazing entries from this year. Again, um, huge thanks to everybody who entered. There were some in incredible entries, some amazing um, innovation and imagination used in turning waste into want. And uh, we are down to the announcement of the winners. Um, as I said, super close and um, a lot of excitement in the judging. In third place from uh, Peniche, Portugal, is Steve Reynasek. Steve Ford is a 7.0 gun made for the winter swells of Portugal. He used upcycled pellet wood, a broken surfboard as the core, and was able to create super interesting rails out of wine corks and filled in with sawdust. He used water-based varnish and the board was ready to go. It looks like a, a great rider and I'd love to see some photos on those big swells at Peniche. In second place, all the way from Queenstown in New Zealand, Jared Ashton with a super interesting asymmetrical. Built for a regular footer. The blank was formed out of foam blocks found on a construction site. Glass offcuts from his hollow wooden boards were hand shredded and created a matting type of pattern that were wrapped with large offcuts and vacuum bag to compress everything into a strong layer. The fin panel was made from polonia offcuts from foiled hollow boards and surrounds and a carbon fiber shredded strand leash loop. The whole board was executed using Entropy Bio Epoxy Resin. An amazing entry, another one that looks like a great rider. And congratulations to Jared all the way from New Zealand. And the winner is from New Hampshire, USA, Corey Nolan, with an incredible longboard. Tremendous amount of work went into this. Corey's entry is a 10-0 pig made to excel functionally, feel authentic, look good and last. To build his blank, Corey used over 40 EPS frame prescription medication coolers, painstaking job to create this blank. Salvaged teak green tail for sandwich stringer, 
And the most unique part of this board was the unique reverse flow through defin and matching tail block were made from resin from Piper surfing boards, glass room floor, and teak salvaged from a boat deck. Corey's call was to go above and beyond in taking waste material and forging it into something truly worthwhile and he achieved that and more. The board looks incredible. Congratulations, Corey. Great entry. So thanks once again, everybody. Um, huge congratulations to Corey and, the, um, and everybody who was, was a finalist and to those of you with uh, honorable mentions. A huge thanks to everybody who entered. Another great event this year and um, thank you for your efforts in environmentalism and sustainability and a huge thanks from us here at Visla. A huge thanks to Surfrider for their participation and um, get out there and rip. Thank you.